Hi, my name is Mark Rain. I'm with Amphenol Fiber Systems International. We provide tactical fiber optic solutions. This equipment is all operational. It's in the field. It's being used in Afghanistan and Iraq, and it's designed to allow the technicians to fault isolate and troubleshoot anything that goes wrong with the tactical fiber net within an hour to two hours. This is the TFOCA 2 connector. This is, was invented by Fiber Systems International for SeaCom. This is used on Win-T, THAAD, Patriot, and a number of other military systems. The equipment I'm going to show you is designed to allow you to fix and repair the connector itself, the cable, and any of the smaller connectors associated with it. These are the light sources and power meters that are designed to let you troubleshoot and determine the operational capacity of that fiber to make sure it's within operational specs. This is a visual inspection scope. It allows the technician to plug right onto the connector without having to disassemble it to see if the connector itself has been broken, damaged, or dirty. Uh, if it's just a dirty connector, it has all the equipment necessary to clean that connector. If it's broken, using the Force One kit or the Fast kit, you can actually repair the connector itself. This is the optical time domain reflectometer. This is part of the test equipment that we provide with the Force One kit. This piece of test equipment allows the technician to troubleshoot down to within a meter of an actual fault in the fiber. It comes with a built-in set of cursors that allows the technician to move along the fiber trace to actually find the exact length of break. So if it's buried fiber, they can find within a meter where that actual break is. One of the other functions built into the OTDR is a visual fault locator. This allows the technician to plug the fiber into the actual OTDR and find a fault on non-jacketed fiber within a pinpoint location. The Force One kit and the Fast kit both come with a mechanical splice. This allows the technician to cut right at the point of break and do a very quick splice within about 10 minutes to a pre-terminated fiber that'll then restore comms within the shortest period possible. In some occasions, fiber itself may be damaged either because of a tracked vehicle or because of a weapons damage. And in those cases, Force One kit and the Fast kit comes with the ability to splice this fiber back together and restore that cable to complete readiness. In order to do the fusion splice itself, first step is to prep the fiber. And this is a thermal stripper that makes it much easier for the technician to get the fiber ready for fusion splicing. And when you get two green light indications, that tells the technician that the fiber is ready for stripping. And as you can see, it strips the fiber of its acrylate and outer coating. Right, the next step is to actually cleave the fiber that has been stripped, and this is the one-step cleaver that's designed for that purpose. Once the fiber has been cleaved, the next step is to fusion splice the actual cable assembly, and that's done by placing it in the fusion splicer. The one that's been selected for the Force One kit and the Fast kit is the AFL D900. Just about all steps in preparation are nearly automatic. This is the actual fusion splice. The fiber is spliced at about 2,000 degrees, and that actually melts the glass, restores that fiber to virtually no loss. And we slide the alignment protection sleeve up and over the fiber. It's placed into the thermal heating oven. As the oven heats up, it causes the heat shrink tubing to collapse over the fiber repair with the two metal sleeves that protect the actual splice itself. This then allows the technician to place the repaired fiber into the outer protection jacket.